mean, it was only another dumb improvised movie made without a whole lot of effort, but it came out a lot better than I expected. Now, more questions and ideas raced in my head than ever before. These films were just experimental. Now, what if I developed some sort of script to work from and made an even better Snicks movie, this time trying to make it good? Then I wondered, why would I waste my time trying to make another Snick sequel? But uh, the story could be explored more. I mean, more things were, were revealed in the sequel, but we still never found out what was in the box, what the sock was, and Snicks wasn't truly rid of. What if the mask just disappeared out of the hole? I needed just one more to finish it off so I could say I made a trilogy. I took a lot of time writing the screenplay for it, I had a huge plot in mind for the great Snicks finale. It involved another possession of Snicks, the revealing of what the mysterious sock really was, the decomposing body of Snicks, a scene in which the mask floats in the air all by itself, and a scene where I turn into Snicks without the mask and my face changes through animation. I had plenty of ideas, but I had trouble putting them all into the same story. It was like too many ingredients in the soup, they just didn't all mix. So, uh, the part where Snicks' body walks would have to be a separate movie on its own. As for the possession and the mask scene, it, it would have to be four separate movies. So I had my whole series planned out, I knew how it was going to happen. And that's why it turned out to be six Snicks flicks. The legend dates back to the year 1693 when an evil warlock named Snicks, who always wore a mask, had power over Hariakike, an island lost off at the Atlantic Ocean. Snicks stole the souls from everyone, making him stronger and stronger. With every soul Snicks stole, he gained more energy. Eventually, Snicks was killed by a fearless wizard named Zins who was also a swordsman and an old enemy of Snicks. He finally found his adversary there on the island and finished him. Zins left Snicks' body there to rot and went back to his temple all the way across the Atlantic to a place now known as New Jersey. Although Snicks didn't truly die, his spirit still possessed his mask, and he followed after the hero, leading an army of souls that he stole from people, now in the form of ghostly creatures. Zin simply used his own magic to seal all the ghosts behind a large door in his temple. Then the spirit of Snix forced Zins to wear the mask. He did so and therefore was possessed. He became Snix. Fortunately, Zinz's will was too strong, and part of his own spirit still remained. He sliced his own head off, 
Therefore, Snix's spirit was lost and unable to possess anyone else without his ghost to help him. The mask is still lying on the floor of the Temple of Zins. As for the spirit of Zins, he haunted his temple, and he still does today. Do you believe in this story? It is true. Trust me, my friend. Yes. I'm talking to you. I am the spirit of Zins, you see? The tale of Snix is not very well known. Or at least not the origin of the tale which I have just told you. Recently, this story has been updated. So Snix died in 1693, but his spirit came back to haunt me in 1993. I am a descendant of Zins, and my house is connected to the temple, unknown to me at the time. A kid who happened to be over my house at the time kept acting strangely and saying that he was seeing a mask or something. He turned into Snix and attacked me. Later, the spirit of Zins came to my house and gave me the box of horror. A box that is said to have something inside it that is so scary that anyone to look inside will die of fright. Curiosity got to me and I looked into the box and fainted. I was in the hospital for almost three more years. I didn't remember what was inside the box. I still don't today. It was the year 1996, three years after Snix's defeat, when I myself started to get haunted by the mask. The spirit of Zin sealed all the ghosts inside the box, just as he's done to the door. As for the mask, we buried that thing and forgot about it. I still don't know what's inside that box. Everything's been quite normal now. It's been three months after Snix's defeat, and I dread his next comeback. It'll easily come back again. All we did was bury it. I know he's coming back. Again. Oh my god! Jim, check this out. Yep. Whoa. This is what's left of the Temple of Zins. Wait, look at this. Oh, man. Whoa. Jim. Whoa. How deep did we bury it? What would you do if we found it in your basement? Yeah, we should have burned it or something. <laughs> oh. We got it. Well, what are you doing? Don't even think about putting that on.
off me! But, oh! Oh! Brian? Yeah. No, I, I didn't burn it yet. It's gone. Yes, the mask is gone. That sock came after me last night. You better come over. I need your help. What's up? Yeah, whatever. I was just about to burn the mask when all of a sudden, from out behind the couch came the sock. I just waited for it. I didn't come to it. It came out from behind the couch and it grabbed me. I have an idea what, what I think the sock is. Well, the body of Snicks I'm talking about. Snicks himself. His victims will only remember the sock. They don't see him. So you just stand guard over me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just yeah. watch me at all times. I'll follow Fo you everywhere. Yep, I was just going to say, follow me everywhere I go. Where is the bathroom? Okay. Jim? In there. I am going to destroy you. I am Snicks. I am going to destroy you.
Let's get rid of this thing now. All right, let's go. This mask is going down the toilet. Put me on. Shut up. Ancient demon warlock Snix has been dead for three centuries, three years, and three months. I hope to rid my life of Snix. The Snix trilogy was over, and I wish that he would never come back again. But deep down inside, I knew that my adventures with Snix had only reached midpoint. I knew. I knew that I left something behind. Alright, stop beating up on that oh. stupid puppet. <laughs> Oh my gosh.